Hi, this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions, and I just want to show you how I've made some of my um, papers, distressed papers, colored them. Really simple, it's nothing new, it's no new technique. I'm just going to use these in my journal. I'm making a journal for my sons. And these are just going to be some papers that I'm going to add to it. real simple so let's get started I'm just going to make some different textures and um, using paints and stencils and sprays and all that for a junk journal and I'm just using some regular copy paper eight and a half by eleven so let's get started I'm just going to do one page at a time and I'm just basically distressing it using different mediums so I'm going to start out using some distress oxide broken china I'm just going to rub it on the glass plate Oops. and spray it with some water. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush some of it on. And you can use any kind of brush, like regular, like big paint brushes or smaller ones or whichever one you want to use. I just want to cover a lot of territory, so that's why I'm using this bigger brush. Start from the edge, I'm just going to kind of brush it on. I'm going to water it down again and add some more. You can use a dauber or you can use whatever. You could actually just run the paper directly across the ink however you want it if you don't want lines in it but I like the lines because I'm going to add some more texture to it. Let me just wipe that. Then I'm just going to set this to the side and let it dry so that you can dry in between. <clears throat> you can dry in between colors. So now I'm just going to take some peeled paint. This is another fossilized amber. Fossilized amber. Distress oxide. And I'm going to do the same thing. But this time, I'm just going to dab the paper onto the paint. And it covers like really quickly. And gives it a different sort of tone and look. So both sides are pretty much covered. One's a little uh, thicker, not thicker, but darker than the other side, but that's fine too. So we're just going to let that dry. And I don't want my paint to go to waste, so I'm just going to take, I'm going to mix. Here's some uh, gray glimmer mist, Tattered Angels. Let me 
see that or not. But, um, Lost Treasure. And I'm just going to spray this on here. And add some more water. I'm just going to take another piece of paper and dab it. See how that covers and that gives it different tones. Just add some more water. I'm gonna add a little bit more spray of the same color. And then I'm just gonna rub this across it. It's really quick and easy and it's really fun. If you didn't want to coffee dye your paper, then this is another alternative. But I still love coffee dyed paper as well, but or tea dyed paper. So this comes in handy. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And I'm going to add some blue. Princess Blue Glimmer Mist. A lot of double cap. Spray the water in the downward position so that it can drip and create its own texture. I just want to see what it will look like. still has that runny drip look to it.
Okay, so you can you can put some in the oven or you can put them in the uh, dry them with your um, heating embossing tool. I'm gonna do both. I have some in the oven right now, so I'm just gonna dry it. Okay, so they're pretty much all dry now. So the one I had some of them in the oven, and I had it at 200 degrees, and I let them dry for about two minutes. It doesn't really take long. So here they are. I love all the different colors in it. So now what I'm going to do is some of them I'm going to leave solid. And then others, I'm going to add some stenciling to it, like really light stenciling. So I'm going to use this uh, stencil by the Crafters Workshop. This one is, I think it's called Gears. I think that's what it's called. So I'm just going to randomly come in with some vintage photo and just lightly kind of go over it. Giving it that texture, that vintage, back in the day, Gears, grunge kind of look to it. I'm just going to flip it over do the same thing. Just randomly do it. And it's really, really light, so it's not like overwhelming. It's just enough to give it that color and that look of grunge. And then I'm just going to take another stencil <clears throat> on a different sheet of paper. And I'm going to do the same thing. This is the bubble stencil burlap and bubble. I guess that's what it is. Layering stencils from Tim Holtz, Stempers Anonymous. And I'm just going to stick to vintage photo adding these textures.
Okay, so I'm just getting ready to distress the edges. the finished product. They've been distressed around the edges and stuff. And I've got several different colors. I have pinks, browns, blues, beige, or cream. Just a whole bunch of different colors. And I'm happy with it. So if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Check out my blog and social media sites, and um, I'll have the link in the description of all the products I use in this. And thanks for watching.